Kasper Rud, born December 22, 1998, is a Norwegian professional tennis player. Rud has a career-high singles ranking of world number two, achieved on September 12, 2022, making him the highest-ranked Norwegian in history. He has won 10 ATP Tour singles titles and finished runner-up at three majors at the 2022 French Open, 2022 U.S. Open, and 2023 French Open, and at the 2022 ATP Finals. From September 2021 to November 2023, Rude spent 113 consecutive weeks inside the ATP Top 10. As a junior, he was ranked world number one. In doubles, he has a career-high ranking of world number 133, achieved after reaching the quarterfinals of the 2021 Wimbledon Championships with Andre Goranson. Revered for his professional on-court demeanor, he was awarded the Stefan Edberg Sportsmanship Award in 2022. Career junior tennis Rude reached the third round of the 2015 French Open Boys Singles event, losing to Corentin Dinoli. He also reached the third round of the 2015 U.S. Open Boys Singles and the second round of the 2015 Wimbledon Boys Singles, his best singles performances in the respective competitions in junior Grand Slams. In the 2015 Wimbledon Boys Doubles, Rude made it to the semifinals together with partner Mayamir Kekmanovic, before losing to eventual champions Lai Hong Nam and Sumit Nagel. They were eliminated in the first round of the 2015 U.S. Open Boys Doubles. In 2016, Rude and Kekmanovic reached the semifinals of the 2016 French Open Boys Doubles before losing to Yusef Hassam and Jurabek Karimov. 2016, Junior No. 1 and professional debut Rude started the year as the world No. 1 ranked junior player on January 4, making him the first Norwegian to do so. For the 2016 season, Rude set his goals on playing Futures tournaments and start climbing the ATP rankings. In February, he played his first Futures final, which he ended up winning against Carlos Taberner in Paguera, Spain. He has since played four more finals, winning one of them against Michael Torpgaard in Karina, Finland in August. In September, in his first ever ATP Challenger tournament, Rude managed to win the Copa Sevilla after beating Tara Daniel in the final. By winning on his debut, Rude became the fourth youngest to ever do so. In the tournament, he recorded his first wins over players ranked in the top 150. He knocked out top seed Inigo Cervantes in the quarterfinals, who at the time was ranked number 75 in the ATP rankings. Due to his win in his challenger debut, Rude received a wild card to the 2016 Chengdu Open, his first ATP World Tour 250 Series tournament. Rude lost to Victor Troiki in the first round. Rude also qualified for the ITF Junior Masters, where he reached the final, losing to Hong Song Chan. Rude finished 2016 with a career high ranking of number 225 in the ATP rankings, 2017 ATP 500 semifinals, and top 150 after impressing in 2016 and climbing the ATP ranking. Rude lost in the third and final qualifying round of the 2017 Australian Open to Riley Opelka. Rude then received a wild card into the ATP 500 event 2017 Rio Open where he defeated Rogério Dutra Silva, Roberto Carbals Baena, and Tiago Montero to advance to his first ATP level semifinal. This made him the youngest to reach an ATP 500 semifinal since Borna Chorich at the 2014 Swiss Indoors. Rude was defeated by Pablo Carreño Busta in the semifinals but reached a career high ranking of number 133. Rude received a wild card into the 2017 Miami Open, marking his first appearance at an ATP Masters 1000 tournament. 2018 Major debuts In 2018, Rude qualified for his first Grand Slam at the Australian Open after going through the qualifying competition. This made him the first Norwegian to qualify for a Grand Slam main draw in 17 years. He won in the first round against Quinton Halles before losing to Diego Schwartzman in the second round. He would lose to Schwartzman again at the Rio Open. Later on in the season he showed continuous good form and reached two ADP Challenger finals in two weeks. The first one he lost against Italian Gianluigi Quincy in Francavilla Almer and then he lost to Pedro Sousa in the Braga Open two weeks later. 
A few weeks later Rude continued his good form and qualified for the main draw of the French Open for the first time after going through the qualifiers without losing a set. In the first round he defeated Jordan Thompson to match his achievement at the Australian Open, he lost to Albert Ramos Vinolas in the second round. In July he achieved the biggest win of his career thus far when he beat defending champion and former world number three, David Ferrer in straight sets at the 2018 Swedish Open. Later that year Rude qualified for the US Open for the first time, going through the qualifiers without dropping a set. He lost to Guido Pella in the first round. After struggling with finding consistency in his form after the summer, Rude finished off the 2018 season by reaching the semi-final of three consecutive challenger tournaments, which brought him close to his career-high ADP ranking going into a new season at number 112. 2019 Top 100 in next-gen ATP finals Rude at the 2019 French Open in the 2019 season, Rude lost in the first qualifying round at the Australian Open, but qualified for the Rio Open, and won against Carlos Berloque and fifth seed Joao Souza before losing to Laszlo Deer in two sets. The result saw him climb to a tied career high ranking of 108. The following week he reached the semi-final of the Brazil Open, beating Thiago Monteiro, top seed Joao Souza and Hugo Dolin before losing to Christian Guerin in two sets. The result meant that Rude climbed inside the top 100 on the ATP rankings for the first time of his career the following week with a ranking of number 94 becoming the first Norwegian to do so since his father, Christian Rude, in December 1994. In April, at the U.S. Clay Court Championships, Rude reached his first ever ATP Tour-level final. In the final he lost to Christian Guerin, though his result meant that he equaled his father Christian Rude in reaching the final of an ATP Tour event, being the only two Norwegians to do so. At the Italian Open, Rude won his first match in an ATP Tour Masters 1000 tournament. After coming through the qualifiers he went on to beat Dan Evans and Nick Kyrgios before losing in the third round to Juan Martín del Potro in straight sets. At the French Open, Rude beat Ernest Skolbis and 29th seed Matteo Berrettini before losing in straight sets against Roger Federer in the third round. Rude also reached the second round at the doubles event alongside Mayamir Kekmanovic after knocking out former winners and 12th seed Ivan Dodig and Eduard Roger Vaselin before losing in three sets to Federico Delbonis and Guillermo Duran. In July, Rude played his first Wimbledon championships, losing in the first round to 9th seed John Isner. At the Kitzbühel Open Rude made it to the semifinals after beating Pablo Carreño Busta, Matthias Bechinger and Pablo Cuevas before losing to Albert Ramos Vinolas. At the 2019 US Open, Rude once again teamed up with Mayamir Kekmanovic in doubles. They made it to the third round after eliminating third seeds Raven Clausen and Michael Venus in the second round. At the St. Petersburg Open, he made the quarterfinals before losing in three sets to Borna Choric. After his best season so far, Rude qualified for the 2019 Next Generation ATP Finals where he got knocked out in the round robin. 2020, historic first ATP title and top 25 at the 2020 ATP Cup Rude led Norway to a 2-1 victory over the U.S. team in the first round-robin match by beating John Isner in three tight sets, before teaming up with Viktor Durasovic to beat Austin Krajicek and Rajiv Ram in doubles. In the second round-robin singles match, Rude beat world number 12, Fabio Fognini, in straight sets. In February, Rude made his way to the final of the Argentina Open where he defeated lucky loser Pedro Souza in the final, thus becoming the first tennis player from Norway to win an ATP Tour title and also appear in more than one ATP Tour final. At the same time he surpassed his father Christian's ranking of number 39 on the ADP ranking, setting a new record as the highest-ranked Norwegian player in ADP history with a ranking of number 34 the following week on 17 February 2020. Two weeks after his first title, Rude reached his second final in a month at the Chile Open but lost in three sets against Thiago Sebath Wild. At the U.S. Open, he reached the third round after defeating Mackenzie McDonald in a five-set match in the first round. In the second round he faced Emile Rusuvuri, who retired in the third set. Rude moved to the third round but was defeated in straight sets by Matteo Berrettini. 
At the Italian Open, Rude notched four match wins, including a quarterfinal victory over top 10 player Matteo Berrettini, to reach that tournament semifinals as the first ever Norwegian, once again surpassing the record of his father Christian Rude, who reached the quarterfinals of Monte Carlo in 1997. Casper then lost in two sets to Novak Djokovic in the semifinals. The result sent him up to a new career high of number 30 the following week. Another semifinal at the 2020 Hamburg European Open the following week sent him up to number 25 in the rankings. At the French Open, Rude once again reached the third round where was then beaten by Dominic Tame. 2021, five titles and top 10 debut Rude at the 2021 French Open at the Australian Open, Rude progressed to the fourth round in a major for the first time. He beat Jordan Thompson, Tommy Paul and Radu Albert before retiring against Andre Rubloff after losing the first two sets. The result equaled his father's best placement at the Australian Open and a major. Rude re-entered the top 25 to a career-high ranking of number 24 on February 22, 2021. A few weeks later, he reached the quarterfinals at Acapulco but once again withdrew due to injury before his match against Alexander Zverev started. On his debut at the Monte Carlo Masters, Rude recorded his second top 10 win after beating Diego Schwartzman in straight sets in the second round. He then defeated Pablo Carreño Busta and defending champion Fabio Fognini to reach his second Masters 1000 semifinal, where he lost to Andre Rubloff. At the BMW Open, Rude reached the semifinals before losing in straight sets to Nicolas Basilashvili. At the Madrid Open in another debut, Rude recorded his first top five win in the third round by defeating Stefanos Tsitsipas in straight sets. He went on to record a straight sets victory in the quarterfinals over Alexander Bublik to reach his third straight ATP Masters 1000 semifinal on clay. He lost his semifinal match to Matteo Berrettini. Due to his performance in Madrid, Rude entered the top 20 for the first time in his career, rising to a new career high ranking of number 16 on 10 May 2021. At the Geneva Open, Rude reached his fourth consecutive semi final on the ATP Tour and then reached his first final of the year and fourth final in his career after defeating Pablo Andujar in straight sets. He defeated Denis Shapovalov in straight sets to win his second ATP title. At Wimbledon, Rude and his partner Andre Garanson made the quarterfinals of the men's doubles tournament. As a result, he climbed to a career high in doubles of world number 133 on July 12, 2021. At the Swedish Open, Rude won his second title of the year and third in total after beating Federico Coria in the final. The following week, Rude won his third title of 2021 with victory at the Swiss Open, beating Hugo Gaston in the final. Rude would then claim victory a week later in Kitzbühel, defeating Pedro Martinez in the final, to win his fourth title of the season and fifth of his career. As a result, Rude moved up to a new career high of no. 12 on August 2, 2021. He became the first ADP player since Andy Murray in October 2011 to win three titles in as many weeks. His winning streak ended at the Canada Masters when he was defeated in the quarterfinals by Stefanos Tsitsipas. Nevertheless, he reached a new career high of world number 11 on August 16, 2021. The following week he entered another Masters 1000 quarterfinal at the 2021 Cincinnati Masters but lost to Alexander Zverev in straight sets. On September 13, Rude reached the number 10 ranking in the world, becoming a top 10 player for the first time and the first Norwegian player to accomplish this feat at 22. He was also the youngest player in the top 10. At the end of September, Rude was selected to play the 2021 Laver Cup for Team Europe. He won the first match of the tournament against Riley Opelka in a tournament Team Europe went on to win 14-1. At the start of October, Rude won his first ever hardcourt tournament and his fifth tour leading tournament of the year at the San Diego Open. He defeated Andy Murray, Lorenzo Sunigo, Gregor Dimitrov, and in the final Cameron Nori in two sets in 62 minutes. Rude began his Rolex Paris Masters run by defeating Alexander Bublik in straight sets. His third round victory over Marcos Giron confirmed Rude's spot at the ATP Finals, where he made his debut at the year end championships. 
At the ATP Finals, Rude reached the semifinals after losing to Novak Djokovic before beating Cameron Nori and Andre Rublev in the round robin. In the semifinal, Rude lost in straight sets to Daniil Medvedev. Rude finished the year as world number eight in the singles rankings. 2022, two Grand Slam finals, ATP Finals runner up, and world number two Rude at the 2022 Monte Carlo Masters. Rude was drawn to play Alex Malkin on the first round in Australian Open, however, he withdrew due to an ankle injury sustained during the practice. Shortly after his recovery, he entered the Argentina Open at which he defeated Diego Schwartzman in the final and clinched his seventh career ATP singles title. He reached his fourth Masters 1000 semifinal at the Miami Open by defeating Henri Loxanen, Alexander Bublik, and Cameron Nori, and later earning his first win against world number no. 4, Alexander Zverev, in the quarterfinal. Rude then defeated Francisco Serendolo in the semifinals to advance to his first Masters 1000 final, and the final he lost to 18-year-old Carlos Alcaraz in straight sets. Following this result, Rude reached a career-high ranking of number 7 in the world on April 4, 2022. At the Italian Open, Rude reached the semifinals by defeating 13th seed Denis Shapovalov before losing to world number no. 1, Novak Djokovic. He next defended his title at the Geneva Open, defeating Joao Souza in the longest championship match of the season in both time, 3 hours 4 minutes, and games, 36. He became the sixth player to win multiple tour level titles in 2022. At the French Open, Rude defeated Joe Wilfried Sanga, who was playing his last professional match, Emile Rusuviri, Lorenzo Sonigo, and 12th seed Hubert Hercax to advance to his first ever major quarterfinal, becoming the first Norwegian to reach the fourth round and beyond at this major. In the first all Scandinavian French Open quarterfinal, he defeated Holger Rune to set up a match with also first time Roland. Garo semi-finalist Marin Cilic, he reached the final with a four-sets win over Cilic and became the first Norwegian man in history to reach a Grand Slam final. He fell in straight sets to Rafael Nadal, but as a result of his performance he moved to a new career-high singles ranking of world number no. 6 on June 6, 2022 and to world number no. 5 a week later, at the Wimbledon Championships. He recorded his maiden win at this major defeating Albert Ramos Vinolas and also his 150th career win. In July, Rude won the Swiss Open Gestad for the second year in a row and his ninth ADP title overall, after defeating Matteo Berrettini in the final, improving his tour level record in Switzerland to 16 0. At the Canadian Open, Rude defeated Felix Auger Eliasim in the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, he lost to Hubert Hercax in a three sets, but switched back to world number no. five. At the Cincinnati Masters, Rude was stunned by University of Florida sophomore Ben Shelton in the second round. At the U.S. Open, Rude was one of five players in the draw with a shot at the world number one ranking, the others being Medvedev, Tsitsipas, Nadal and Alcaraz. He reached the fourth round by defeating Kyle Edmund, Tim Van Richthoven, and Tommy Paul. His third round match with Paul went five sets and lasted almost four and a half hours. He then defeated lucky loser Corentin Matet, 13th seed Matteo Berrettini, the latter in straight sets, to make his second major semifinal appearance. He went on to defeat 27th seed Karen Kachanov to reach his second major final. He lost to the third seed Carlos Alcaraz in the final in four sets. As a result, he climbed to a new career high ranking of world number no. 2 on 12 September 2022. At the 2022 ATP Finals, he went one step further than the previous year when he reached the final, defeating Andre Rublev and setting up a match with five time champion Novak Djokovic. In the finals, Rude lost to Novak Djokovic in straight sets. Rude also won the ATP Sportsman of the Year award for his behavior on tour. 2023, third Grand Slam final, 10th career title, 100th clay court win Rude. Started off the season by participating in the inaugural 2023 United Cup leading the Norway team. He won his first match in the tournament against Thiago Montero but in his second match lost against Matteo Berrettini. The Norway team failed to advance to the knockout stage. At the 2023 Australian Open, he experienced an early second-round exit to Jensen Brooksby in four sets. 
In January 2023, Root criticized the length of the ATP Tour calendar and said he would take around a month's break from competition after the 2023 Australian Open, with February effectively his preseason. During the early North American swing, he struggled to find form after losing in the second round of the Mexican Open to Tara Daniel in straight sets. At the Indian Wells Masters and Miami Masters, he lost in the second round to Christian Guerin and Bodic van de Zandt respectively. As a result of not being able to defend his finalist points from the 2022 Miami Open, he dropped one spot in the rankings to world number 5. Rude won his 10th ADP title at the Clay Court 2023 Estoril Open defeating home favorite and wildcard Joao Souza, defending champion and fifth seed Sebastian Baez, Quinton Halley's in the semifinal in a tough three-set match, eventually emerging victorious in the third-set tiebreaker and Mayamir Kekmanovic in the final, en route he recorded his 100th Clay Court win in the first round, becoming just the second man born in 1995 or later to hit that number, after Alexander Zverev. As a result, he moved back to world number four. At the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters he lost in the third round to qualifier and eventual finalist Jan Leonard Struff. At the 2023 Madrid Open he was upset in the second round by first-time qualifier Matteo Arnaldi. At the 2023 Italian Open, Rude made the semifinals, where he lost to Holger Rune for the first time, despite being up a set and a break. At the 2023 French Open, Rude defeated Elias Eimer, qualifier Julio Zapiri, Zhang Zhijin, and Nicolas Jerry to advance to the quarterfinals for a second year in a row at this major. In a rematch of the previous year's quarterfinal, Rude again defeated Rune in four sets. In his third major semifinal, he again emerged victorious, defeating Alexander Zverev in straight sets. In the final, he fell to Novak Djokovic in straight sets. Rude, who has expressed a strong dislike for grass courts, chose not to play any grass court tournaments in the lead-up to the Wimbledon Championships. After defeating qualifier Laurent locally in the first round, he again experienced a disappointing early exit from the event in the second, falling to the 142nd ranked player in the world, Liam Brody, in five sets, at the next major tournament. The 2023 U.S. Open, he again lost in the second round in five sets to Xi Jinping. After losing to Francisco Serendolo in the second round of the Paris Masters, Rude left the top 10 for the first time since joining in 2021. 2024, United Cup quarterfinals, 20th career final at the United Cup, Rude defeated Talon Griekspur and Borna Chorich in straight sets to lead Team Norway to the quarterfinals. There, in their tie against France, he scored a third consecutive straight set victory against Adrian Manorino, but the team was defeated in mixed doubles. At the 2024 Los Cabos Open, he defeated second seed Stefanos Tsitsipas to reach the final. At the same tournament, he reached the semifinals with William Bloomberg. At the next tournament, the 2024 Abierto Mexicano Telsal in Acapulco, he reached back to back finals and his 20th career won overall with a win over second seed Holger Rune. At the 2024 Miami Open, he reached the fourth round with a win over 27th seed Alejandro Davidovich Fakina, recording his 100th hardcourt win. Root became the only male player 25 or under to have 100 or more career wins on both hard and clay, 121, and the fifth player born since 1990 to achieve the milestone, after Alexander Zverev, Dominic Taim, Pablo Carino Busta and Diego Schwartzman. National Representation Davis Cup He became part of the Norwegian Davis Cup team in 2015, and together with countryman Viktor Durasovic promoted Norway from Group 3 Europe Zone to Group 2 Europe slash Africa Zone. In the 2016 Davis Cup, Rude and Durasovic lost 3-2 to Lithuania in the first round. In the playoffs they beat Luxembourg 3-2 to stay in the Group 2 Europe-Africa zone, Norway remained in Group 2 Europe-Africa zone in 2017 and 2018 before winning their 2019 tie against Georgia, securing them a place in the playoff for World Group I as a result of changes in the Davis Cup format. They won the playoff against Barbados and thereby qualified for World Group I. Personal Life Rude is the son of former professional tennis player Christian Rude and Lele Rude. He has two sisters, Caroline and Charlotte, and shares a passion for golf with his father. He grew up in the Snoroya district of Barham, with Rafael Nadal as his tennis idol. 
Television and film Root appears in the tennis docuseries Rafa Nadal Academy, which premiered on Amazon Prime on September 16, 2021, and Breakpoint, which premiered on Netflix on January 13, 2023.